Good morning. Uh, welcome to Coffee with Pastor Zach after the end of another week. Uh, happy Friday. And, you know, next week is a big week for the church. It's Holy Week. It's kind of like our Super Bowl, really, if you think about it. And uh, before that hits, I want to take a moment and enjoy uh, the beauty we have around us. You see, uh, Steph procured these, these tulips and I smell really nice, and these lemons and limes, they're reminders of the beautiful creation that's all around us. Even though we're home alone, I hope you're taking the time to go outside, but also that we remember what God has provided for us in the midst of everything happening. Now, I know Holy Week next week is going to look a little different than what we're used to, but I know that God will continue to provide. That though it's not what we're uh, set up routine-wise and what we've done every year, uh, God will bring blessing to us. He's going to be on the lookout for it when it's in our midst. Uh, it's a funny story that makes me think of all this. Uh, from the book of Isaiah, uh, you've perhaps heard of the Dead Sea Scrolls. It was this old manuscript, one of the oldest versions of the text that we have, uh, all the same, no, no difference in translation or anything, which was very exciting. Um, but the first scroll they found, it's a very long story, YouTube it, it's some great stuff first scroll they found, the first one they translated, someone had previously found it, and it was a scroll for the book of Isaiah, and they clearly had undone, had undone it and rolled it back up, but they did it wrong, in that the, out, the end of the book was on the outside instead of the beginning. And the first verse, when they translated it, this is what they found. It's from Isaiah chapter 65. Remember, these are all fragments, so they can only see one piece at a time, and it's older dialects. Lots of stuff you probably don't care about. Anyway, but here we go. This is what they found. I was ready to be sought out by those who did not ask, to be found by those who did not seek me. I said, here I am, here I am, to a nation that did not call my name. Oh, you got goosebumps a little bit. Uh, this is God's word found, and that's the first verse that they heard. Amazing. See, God seeks us out even when we're not looking for God. Even when we're in a different situation, God gives us reminders of the fullness God provides. So yes, while Holy Week will look different this week, I know that God will speak through it. And I know whatever you're doing throughout your day every week, uh, I know that God will speak through that as well. This can be a time of tremendous meaning. I ask you to join me in looking for it. Let's pray before the weekend. Holy God, give you thanks for revealing yourself to us in your Son, Jesus Christ. We know that you're with us always, and help us to see you even if things are different than what we're used to. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Have a good weekend, and I'll see you on Sunday.